All right, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do an insulation test on large uh, wires before you turn the power on and before you land them. So wires just like this. We're going to use this tool right here by Fluke Instruments. This is an insulation tester, also known as a megometer. So uh, give me just a second to get everything set up and I'll get right back with you. Again, this is how to test the insulation on large wires. All right, guys, so I've got this uh, megometer set up and the way that you're gonna wanna do this is you're gonna wanna test the level of resistance. That's what this is testing, is the level of resistance between every cable. So first you're gonna go whatever your A phase is to ground. So there, there's my ground, there's my A phase. Then you're gonna wanna go uh, B phase, which this is my orange is B phase to ground. Then you're gonna go C phase to ground. Then you're going, gonna go in between your phases. So you're gonna go A to B, A to C, and B to C. So you wanna make sure that in between all of these cables, there's no cuts. And the level of resistance is what tells you the quality of the insulation. So this is why this is called an insulation tester. Now for the cables that I'm doing, we're gonna be testing on a thousand volts. So if you come down here, you're gonna switch this to a thousand volts. And now you're gonna see here in the corner, it says zero volts DC and this little light is not on. Now I've already got it set up A to ground. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit my lock button and then I'm gonna hit test. Now you're gonna wait one minute after you start this test. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna watch this test or go up until we get to a minute. Whatever the value is at a minute is the value you record. Now while, while uh, we're doing this test, the other end of these cables have been cut, wrapped with tape, and there's somebody guarding the location where these cables are. Because if you get to where you can touch the conductor on these cables, it will shock you. So make sure you've got somebody guarding the other end and you've got them wrapped up good with tape. That way nobody can get shocked. It won't, it won't kill you, but it will hurt. Similar to an electric fence. Now we're coming up on a minute here. Once you get to a minute, you're gonna hit lock and it's gonna stop it. But I want you to watch this, this BDC and this light. See that drain down and that light go off? That means that this is now safe. You can, you can touch the wires, you can do whatever you want. But while this light is on and there's voltage on this cable, do not touch these, these wires. So we're gonna record a reading of 1793 mega ohms, which is a passing test. We usually consider a fail at the very minimum under 100 mega ohms. So if you've got less than 100 mega ohms of resistance between any two cables, then you have a problem with your insulation. So I hope this is helpful and this is how to use a fluke insulation tester and how to test wires insulation. Thanks for watching. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all our future videos and have a great day.